Hello everybody, got Mark coming to you today on the Garage Guy 879 channel. This is early Saturday morning, January 14th, 2023. And this right here is my very first gun purchase of 2023. From the title of the video, you already know what it's about. So what do you say we uh, open this box up, give it a look, and uh, see what's inside. All right, my friends, here we have the uh, carrying case, the uh, hard plastic case right here. A far cry better than uh, the cardboard boxes they've been coming in. And we'll flip this around here, and we'll just open this up. And, of course, comes with the uh, usual paperwork. This is the invoice from Bud's right here. Ordered this from Bud's Gun Shop Online. At a price of five hundred and six dollars. All right, and you get your usual paperwork and the awesome Ruger Phoenix sticker right here, and of course uh, twenty percent off on your next single order from ShopRuger.com. They got some good stuff on our website, and of course the usual paperwork and all that stuff and the owner's manual. All right, and right there is the firearm itself. All right, my friends, what do you say we go ahead and get this out of the case right here? Of course, you have your safety lock. You have two of these 10-round magazines right here. I have never had any problems with them whatsoever. And uh, right here, uh, the little chamber flag shows that uh, the firearm is empty. There's nothing loaded in the chamber. As I always say in my videos, don't throw these away because a lot of ranges require that you have these and right here is a little washer and I will show you what it is for here in a little bit now we'll go ahead we'll remove this out of the case as you can see there's nothing under it you can put a few other little accessories under here that's pretty uh, hollow right there hey, you can store some extra ammo in there if you want to Really nice case. Way to step up, Ruger. Yeah. Alright, my friends. Why say we go ahead and take this out of the bag right here. And get a hold of it. And there we go. <laughs> I'll throw this over to the side. Alright. You know, my first impression about this. I'm like, awesome. Totally freaking awesome. This gold color, some people might call it a dull yellow or whatever. Uh, the slide and trigger match and the black. It just looks, it's, this is a beautiful handgun right here. Now it does have the uh, Picatinny rail right here on the top. that come with it like it. You do have the uh, adjustable side here on the back. And the uh, side here on the front, of course, you can replace it with fiber optic if you want. And the uh, slide itself is ported, but the barrel is not, okay? And what we all love about these Mark IV Rugers, plain and simple, the bottom line, what we love about them is this. Throw it up on safe. Let's see. Let's show the uh, magazine ejection. Uh, slick as a whistle. Let's see if I can, uh, all right, put that up on safe, you push that button right there, like, uh, breaking down a single shot shotgun, and for, uh, cleaning, right there is a the bolt, my friends, and you can't go wrong with, uh, putting it back in, there's only one way that'll happen, like that, and you can remove the spring from the bolt, now we go ahead, right here put that on here we see this and I'm on camera and a little unsteady but there we go good to go all right now the grips on here uh, I got some older Ruger Mark IVs and the uh, 
grips are plastic but this is more like a harder rubber right here uh, it has a little bit of give to it and it feels really good in hand uh, also like I was talking earlier I said I would get back to what this is right here this little o-ring and this right here you have ambidextrous safety on here on this side and this side now if you decide you want to remove that you remove this grip panel right here remove the manual safety lever and replace it with this o-ring put the grip back on but I don't see the need to do that never had any problem hitting the safety or anything like that but uh, this is going to be a thumb gun it's going to be a plinker and I am going to doll it up a little bit now let me set this over to the side and show you something I showed on my channel a couple of months ago and it is going to look a little different if y'all remember this I believe it might have been late October or early November something like that I put up a video here Ruger 2245 used well I added a Picatinny rail added the AIM Sports uh, reflex sight on it and I added an extended charge handle right here and I haven't got out to get to use it too much yet but the thing of it is this 2245 before I put all this stuff on it it was dead on accurate so what I'm going to do I'm going to remove the charging handle extension and the AIM Sports Reflex Sight right here I'm going to put it on this one right here okay I mean this thing it's a lot of weight to this you know this is a solid firearm this right here it being the light version hey that ain't gonna hurt nothing so I'll put that on here uh, aim sport uh, reflex sight charging handle extension and a lot of people like to take the uh, thread barrel thread protector off and put some kind of compensator on it I might do that the jury's still out on it but I have yet to take my first shots with it and this being January here in the southwestern part of Virginia in the central Appalachians it goes like this I go to work hell it's 60 degrees outside but on my days off I'm lucky if the temperature outside reaches 25 or 30 not a good day for shooting but uh, I caught a weather forecast for later in the middle of next week temperature supposed to be up in the mid to high 50s I hope to have a video out put the first shots through this and then later on I'll do a upgrade update video when I add all this other stuff onto it all right but uh, I want to share this with my friends out there my first uh, firearm purchase 2023 Ruger 24 uh, 24 excuse me Ruger 2245 light Mark IV version, Chamber 22 LR. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I hope to catch y'all soon for the uh, update videos coming up. Catch y'all later, and also, before I forget, Happy New Year, everybody.